you know, it's a great time of the year for astrophotography. Uh, some of my favourite constellations at this time of the year. We've got, uh, uh, you know, Orion and uh, the horse head and, uh, you know, the witch's head. Uh, some fantastic targets, the Rosette Nebula. So, yeah, uh, really looking forward to seeing what, uh, uh, what this uh, winter brings in terms of uh, clear skies and hopefully lots of imaging time. So yeah, tonight's a Wednesday night, uh, middle of the week, and we've got some really nice clear skies. Um, so my new house and the location where I'm at, it's actually a Bortle 5. Um, I think it's 19.57 magnitude, uh, according to Clear Outside. So that's really cool. Um, over to the north, uh, when I step out of my back door um, into the garden, uh, directly to my left is Polaris. So I can just set up on the, uh, the patio outside the back door and just see Polaris, which is great. And then I've got a really nice view of the north and uh, northeast, uh, the, uh, the south and southeast as well. So a really nice uh, time of the year to be imaging. I've got all these great targets that are coming up. So what the uh, Optolong Gallin Hans filter does is it cuts out loads of light pollution and it's quite a narrow band pass. Um, so you're picking up a lot of hydrogen alpha, which is the common uh, gas in a lot of emission nebulae. And uh, yeah, you know, you can image in moonlight, something that I've never done before. And yeah, it just really helps to enhance the nebulosity uh, in, in the targets cuts out all that sort of sodium street light lamp and street lighting and loads of you know other sort of erroneous uh, forms of light pollution. So yeah I'm really uh, happy with this filter. I've used it on the Heart Nebula that I imaged uh, about a month or two ago. Yeah really happy with the results I'm getting with it. Uh, so yeah um, hope you enjoy the, uh, the picture at the end of the video and uh, thanks for tuning in. So uh, the first thing that <laughs> I've got to show you is this, uh, which is really cool. Um, bought this canvas for my uh, boy's bedroom and uh, got these uh, stickers as well. So you've got a rocket there and all the planets. Yeah, and uh, also it glows in the dark, the constellations do. So uh, yeah, it's really cool. So this is the garden and uh, yeah, just got this uh, base that's uh, been built a couple of days ago. That's for a shed or an observatory. <laughs> That'd be nice, but we'll have to wait, I think. So the shed's gonna go on there and uh, got my tripod there. So you might be wondering which nebula I'm gonna be imaging tonight and it's the California Nebula, uh, which is in the constellation Perseus. So yeah, really looking forward to uh, imaging this for the first time. And uh, yeah, um, it's quite high up in the sky at the moment, this time of the year. So it's out of all that light pollution and uh, yeah, should make for a, a nice image with the Astro modded 600D. So yeah, um, we've gone from having two clear nights in August to a clear night last night and a clear night tonight. It's been clear all day, so uh, yeah, happy days. Um, yeah, it makes a nice change to be fair, and it's, uh, it's just nice to be out imaging again. So uh, yeah, the mounts are parked, and uh, the next step is to uh, open Stellarium because what I'm going to do now is focus uh, on a bright star preferably so uh, yeah there's quite a few bright stars uh, just, which one's that there? Vega, okay. Right, yeah, so let's uh, slew over to Vega. So in Stellarium, it's control, 
and actually I'm just going to turn the camera on and just uh, flick the screen out just put it in live view mode and uh, just click now on that and OK Alright, put it on live view and then press control and one Oh uh, yeah, got to unpark it. Right, so unpark, and then control and one. And uh, yeah, just slewing over to to Vega. Looks about right. APT live view. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to have to plate solve here. So let's click on to gear, connect scope, and point craft. Oh, that'll do. Right, so let's take a shot. About a 20 second shot, so should be uh, pretty accurate. Shouldn't be uh, any trailing with uh, that polar alignment, you wouldn't have thought. Ah, and there is a uh, massive trailing, even though it's sidereal. What the heck's that about? That's weird. Oh yeah, that's the bat love mask. Yeah, actually I'll just take that off. Might be a good idea. And then take an image. <laughs> These are the things with astrophotography you have to think about everything. As you're setting up imaging, it's just one one wrong step out of everything and the whole thing just can collapse. It's like putting the mask on too early or taking a shot with the mask on or leaving the mask on if you're doing an imaging run. Something I've not done before, but yeah. Don't want to do that. <laughs> I've heard, heard about people that have, so yeah, that would be annoying. 